What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm back with another word. Yes, your father has sent me with another message, y'all. I don't know who needs this, but God said somebody needs this message, so I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? Listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without commenting or sharing the video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen. All right, now, family, listen, I have already prayed and welcome the Holy Spirit in, welcome the good Lord in. Y'all know how I do, right? I done set the tone here and bless this space. Okay, Father God, I still ask that you use me, speak through me. I'm your vessel, Father God. Speak to your children. Make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, I don't know who needs this word today, but I know somebody needs this thing. So I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it comforts you, encourages you, strengthens you, and blesses you, okay? Y'all, please get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this is for, this is going to be just what you need, okay? So God is saying right now, guys, he said, you're being tested. I must say that again. Your father is saying right now, you are being tested. Now, guys, this is a prophetic word. So some of you guys could be experiencing this right now or there's something to come. But get this word back to God in prayer. Let the Holy Spirit reveal it to you, okay? But whoever this is for, your father is saying you're being tested. Meaning whatever you're going through right now, this is a test. And whoever this is for, God is saying you're being tested in the eyes, before the eyes of doubters. Right, and they may not be doubting you, but they may be doubting the power of the Lord. Right, so they could be supporting you, but also doubting. So God is saying right now, He's gonna do it. I mean, you're being tested before the eyes of doubters, and a lot of them will say things like, "You don't have to go through that by yourself." Or uh, why are you putting yourself through that? Right. So God is saying right now, this test, this test is a part of your mission. So you got to be like Jesus when he told Peter, you know, he rebuked Satan and told Peter, get, get the hints for your concerns are human concerns, but you're not concerned about the Lord's concern, right? This is a mission. I'm on a mission. And God is saying right now, whoever you are, he said this test, the test that you're faced with, what you're about to go through or what you're going through. He said, this is a part of the mission. Don't let nobody. Thank you, Lord. Talk you out of this test. Mm hmm. I mean, I know it may not look like you can get through it. He said it may look like you're going to struggle through it. He said, but I promise you, you're going to muscle through this thing. Most people probably can't get through it. Come on now. Most can't handle this test, but you, you're going to take it on like a champ chosen one. I'm telling you right now, God is saying, baby, don't let nobody talk you out of this mission. Don't let them talk you out of this test. And I know they, they mean well. Okay, they mean well. Trust me, they mean well. They don't want you to have to go through this. But baby, God is saying, watch how you go through this. Whoa, thank you, Lord. Watch how you gracefully get through this thing. I know it's not easy. It will not be easy. Most people will drown in this water you're about to trade in. Come on now. Most people will drown in what you're about to swim through. God say it will not be easy. It has not been easy. Amen. But you will remain faithful. Come on now. You are to remain committed. In Jesus' name, God said, if you remain faithful, you remain committed, baby, at the end. Come on now. At the end, they will find none equal to you. Come on now. God say, remain faithful. Remain uh, 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 committed. And they will find none. At the end, at the end, baby, they will find none equal to you. In Jesus' name, I don't know who you are. But God is saying right now, whatever you're facing, the test that you're facing, baby, he said it is part of your mission. So when they tell you, when they tell you, oh, don't, don't go through this by yourself. I just want to help you say, baby, I'm on a mission. I am on a mission. Come on now. They're like, why you want to face that by yourself? I am on a mission. Come on now. Somebody say that thing out. Say, I am on a mission. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're faced with right now. But God said, baby, this test is part of your mission. If you know you're on a mission, you're faced with a test right now. You're like, baby, I'm going to get through this thing. I'm about to muscle through this thing. I'm going to take it on by faith. I'm going to take it on like a champ. Come on now. Most people are drowning in this water, but I'm about to swim through it. Somebody say, I am on a mission. 
washed. I won't turn away from this this test, baby. I won't turn away from this test, baby. I won't fright away from this test, baby. Somebody say, I am on a mission. Go down there in the comments and type it out. Say, I am on a mission in Jesus' name. Y'all know how we do it, baby. We put capital I, capital A, capital M. I am on a mission. It's saying you're on a mission with the great I am. Amen. I am on a mission, baby. I can't turn around from this. Let me tell you something. Don't turn around from the fire, baby. You got to get through the fire to get that glow. You got to get through the fire to get that confidence. You got to get through the fire to get that boldness. I'm telling you, baby, the blessing is on the other side of the fire. The blessing is on the other side of the, 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 the test. Amen. God is saying right now you'll become new after this test. You'll be brand new after this test. Do you hear me? He said you just got to get through the fire. So, baby, you can't turn away from the fire. You can't turn away from the pressure. You can't run away from the test. Do you hear me? God is saying this is a part of your mission. I don't know who this is for, but God said, baby, you need this thing today. So I pray that it reaches you and it blesses you, okay? God is saying right now, baby, you ought to be asking for the test, okay? Because you know what benefits you come from the test. Come on now. What comes from the test? What you get from the test? Amen. He said you're going to become way different. You'll become way stronger. Come on now. He said that confidence is going to be up. Okay, when you know that, baby, you'll be waiting to go through the fire. Come on now. You'll be waiting to go through the fire. And most people won't expect you to look like what you're going to look like when you get through this because you won't look like what you've been through. Come on now. He said most people won't expect you to look like what you look like because you won't look like what you've been through in Jesus' name. They're going to be like, baby, how you get through that? Where you get that glow from? Oh, you got a brand new talk. You got a brand new walk. You better tell them just like this. Baby, I went through the fire. Mm -mm. I didn't have a magic pill, baby. I didn't have a magic book. Come on now. I had to go through the fire. It didn't come on no infomercial. It wasn't an infomercial for this one, baby. I had to go through the fire with the great I am. Come on now. This glow, this glow, baby, it come from the great I am. Come on now. I had to go through the fire to get it. You're going to be saying, oh, that's something different about you. I can't put my finger on it. Come on now, because, baby, this I had to go through the fire to get this. That you cannot identify, baby. I had to go through the fire. In Jesus' name, I'm telling y'all, y'all better get ready to tell some people, baby, I went through the fire. Come on now, are you ready to tell them that you made it through the fire when they ask you, baby, which, how you make it through that? Come on now, how did you get to the other side of that test? Come on now, somebody say, I went through the fire. Come on now, where does that glow come from? Come on now, you walk with a whole nother sense of confidence, baby. When you speak, you say it with your chest. Come on now, where did that come from? Somebody say, I went through the fire. It showed me something about me that I didn't even know. I discovered a brand new me in that fire. Come on now. Somebody say, I went through the fire. Go down there in the comments and type it out, y'all. Say, I went through the fire. In Jesus' name, declare that thing. So this is saying you not only faced the test, you made it through the test. Amen. You made it past the test. Amen. You say, I went through the fire. Come on now. They say, I made it through the fire. Come on now. You have been refined by the fire. Somebody say that thing out loud. Then go down in the comments and type it out. Say, I went through the fire. That's why I've been made brand new. That's why I glow like this. That's why I speak like this. That's why I talk like this. Come on now. That's why I believe like this, baby, because I went through the fire and I don't smell like smoke. I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. Come on, listen, y'all. Let me give y'all some scriptures and I'm going to let y'all go, y'all. And God led us to Daniel 1. I love y'all so, so much. Daniel 1, verses 11 through 20. I'm not going to read it verbatim, family. So I encourage you guys to go back and read it and let it bless you, okay? But again, it's Daniel 1, verses 11 through 20. And this is when Daniel... And the three Hebrew boys, right? This is right after uh, the king of Babylon, which is King Nebuchadnezzar. He had just taken Jerusalem, right? But as he sees Jerusalem, he told his people to get some of the, the, the top people, the best that would be able to serve his palace, right? Some of the top men that would be able to serve his palace, which included Daniel and the three Hebrew boys, right? Okay, when they got there, he told them they would be trained for three years and they gave him royal foods. Daniel said, no, I will not deny, uh, defile myself with these foods. And so the God who was over them said, hey, if you look different and weaker, you know, the, the king will have my head. And this is what Daniel said in verse 12. It said, please test your servants for 10 days. Give us nothing but vegetables and drink water. And then compare our compare, uh, appearance to the young men that eat the royal food and then treat your servants according to what you see. At the end of that days, they were better. In the end of the 10 days, they looked healthier and better nourished than any of the other young men who had ate the royal food. So 
at the end of the time, at the end of the three years, all right? Come on now, jump down with me, y'all. Stay with me. At the end of the three years, which is in verse 18, it says, at the end of the time set by the king to bring them to service, the chief officer presented them to Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them, and he, he found none equal to them, all right? So they entered the king's service. So God is saying right now, guys, he's saying you are being tested. And if you make it to the other side of the fire, come on now. If you make it to the other side of this test, they will find none equal to you. None is equal to you, baby. You are to welcome the test. Remember, Daniel said, please test your service. Come on now. Please test me. Even David asked God. He said, test my heart. Search my heart, God. And God is saying right now, baby, you are to be ready for the test. You ought to be you ought to be begging for the test, just like Daniel, because you know what benefits what you get out of the test. Amen. The test is gonna build you, baby. The test is gonna build you. In Jesus' name, I don't know who this is for, but God is saying right now, baby, don't back down from the test. I know people may be telling you you don't have to go through that. You don't need to go through that by yourself. You need to do this and that. God is saying right now, this is a part of your mission. You're on mission. Okay, listen to your father. Okay, don't they mean mean well? God means best. All right, God said, let me do this. Okay, let me do, let, uh, I'm sorry, he said, get through this test, for this is also for the doubter's eyes. All right, though most people may drown through this thing, you're going to swim through it. Okay, Michael Phelps that thing. <laughs> you're about to Michael Phelps that thing. And you're going to make believers out of the doubters by getting through this thing with grace. Okay, so whoever this is for, God is saying right now, baby, face that test, head on. Face that test, head on, because it is a part of your mission. All right, y'all, listen, I love y'all so, so much. I don't know who needed this word today, baby, but I pray that it reaches you, and I pray that it's a blessing, all right? Listen, I love y'all with the love of God, family. I thank y'all so, so much for the love, the comments, the shares, the new subscribers, the new followers, the encouraging emails, all that you guys have been doing, giving, and showing up for Jesus in this ministry. I thank you so, so much for being a part of the family, okay? I thank you guys for, for the encouraging emails and emails. Even just checking in with me because some of you guys are just checking in and see how I'm doing when I'm not, you know, when I'm gone for a couple days. So I thank you. Thank you so much for being, um, be active, be active as members of this family. I thank you. Okay. I thank you guys for the sowing of seeds, the donations, the gifts that you guys have been sending in. I thank you for your generosity, okay? And I pray that God will give it back to you a hundredfold in whatever way that you need it, okay? It is in Jesus' name that I'm praying for you guys. I thank you so, so much, y'all. Bye. Thank you, guys. And go out and live a blessed life. Y'all know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing.